Hello Stamper, welcome to French Knit's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to share how to do this a little purse. This is one of the vi first video I did many years ago, like 10 years ago, N not this one because this is new print but I did this one at a live under Facebook and many uh, asked me to do it on the YouTube because it's easier to be found so um, I'm going to share how simple it is and if you can see it's a nice little purse and it measured four inch so it's a square of four inch so it's four inch deep so you would fit a quite a bit in it well, I don't like to do the same thing twice, so we're gonna. I'm gonna have a little twist to it today. Uh, first, we're gonna start with. Let's see how pretty it is. We're gonna start with this here because if you notice, my hand is full of it, right? This is the washi tape, the pedal, um, the press pedal washi tape, and they come all in the pedal, and I will have all the supplies below the link to my uh, blog right below or above in the eye and it's going to um, have all the supplies where for the direct link to buy them on my blog or just go there to see everything that I use also with the measurement so I started with this so you see that is uh, the pedal that I use there well we're going to use the press um, oh let me think here the press uh, pedal oops yeah it is the press pedal designer series paper we're going to use that and that match perfectly with it well i'm going to use the blueprint so i'm using my stamping blend the night of navy i'm starting with the dark and i just go the outside and then i'm taking the light I'm putting that on a clear, um, that was an envelope I had. You can put it on like on wax paper or something like that. And then I'm taking my light and I just give my stroke here of the light one. See, it looked kind of funny, but by the time it's dry and it's built, I think it's going to look very lovely. Then I use my aqua painter, not aqua painter, the wink of Stella when it's dry and I decide to put that shimmery on top of it voila so that's the little twist to this today and then I just peel it off because it's wash tape so it's easy to remove now I get all this there you're gonna say well what we're gonna do with that I'm using a one and a half inch circle in night of navy then we're gonna start building our flower I go about the center there and we're going to build our flower and i just go i get a video on this different way to use the petal this one i just keep on going around and around and when this is done then we're going to use the clear embossing powder to stop the stickiness and I didn't went very much in the center I see there but when it's done it won't matter so even if you don't go right in the center like you can tell nobody nobody gonna know so here we go and I'm gonna add a little bit more just lift up a little bit here to give some dimension and don't worry if it don't get glue um, very lovely it's gonna all work trust me and then here and then here so now I'm gonna just roll this a little bit I'm gonna bring some clear embossing powder uh, I did some with the embossing buddy in the back to stop the stickiness but for this year I'm gonna use uh, the clear and really what I done is just put it in so it go in the back of the one that are curved to so it's going to keep better the curve tap this now you're going to see I got all that white powder on it I'm looking for a piece of tweezer I really need tweezer for this oops I'm going to put my tweezer there here we go and then we're going to emboss this that's going to stop the stickiness here so it's going to melt 
the embossing powder and oops lots of uh, petal there that's okay nobody gonna know we're gonna go in the back melt everything in the back here here we go and the reason why I do that, you really don't want that to stick. And you can see it shine when it's done embossing. I'm going to put some under there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, it's still going to be sticky there because it's still, I'm just going to move it there. And we're going to emboss here. And I see a little bit of powder there. You see where the powder didn't melt? Just make sure that it's all melted. Here we go. Now I can move that a bit. Here we go. Now, what we're going to do, this one I'm going to toss that out. I got the little bling, the, oh, I got powder that drives me nuts. I got the embellishment from the Bird Ballad. Those little trinkets. And I'm going to use, a glue, well, maybe two, three glue dots back here. Just want to make sure it's very secure. And we're going to put that right in the center there. Et voila! So now we got, that's going to be our closer, okay? Now I'm going to bring the Simply Score and we're using this print so the other one was in like the Mary Merlot this time we're using the one in Night of Navy it's from the same pack the press petal specialty paper and this is the side that I want my purse to be the front so I like to score the back of it and make it easier when it comes to designer series paper the tin paper like this I like to use the fat tip for my Simply Score. It, it's better, it won't, um, well, it still can't rip it, but you don't want to press too hard. This is very fine, it's easy to uh, go right through. So, what I'm going to do is the fat tip, I'm going to score at four, I'm going to score at eight. Flip this around, score at four, and score at eight. Now I will remove this. I'm going to bring my foam mat here and we're going to reinforce our score. It make it easier. Okay, let's bring my, here we go. So reinforce all our score. I put my finger there so I get a clue about where is my score. And we're going to do the other side. And then this side. Here we go. So now that we reinforce that, on the four peak, one, two, three, four, the four corner, you're going to take a ruler. You're going to put that where those two score line meet and at the tip right there and you're going to score this. Be careful not to press too hard so you won't go through the paper. Sometime I just lift it up see where my corner is here. Maybe this side would be easier. To see, I don't know. Sometimes the print make it hard. Oops. Be careful not to do that. So you don't want to press too hard, but you want to press a little bit. Here we go, like this. Don't hold it so straight. I think that oh, that one is done. This one is done. This one. You don't want to hold it so straight. I think that's going to keep it easier to roll. Okay. Now you're going to do two sides parallel to each other. So the top the bottom so don't do the side it's all the same so wherever you start you're going to do at the bottom you're going to measure so from your score to your score that's four inch 
your score to, your score it's four inch so the center of that it is two so you can take a mark or just make a little dent there so you know where to go you're going to go from the corner to there and you're going to score that again oops there and then I'm going to turn this around you know what maybe it's easier this side so sometimes the print are very easy and sometimes the print are not so easy so right here to there here we go and then we're going to do the same thing over here and that won't show so if you want you can uh, put a mark there that is no biggie I mean whatever works for you now I'm gonna put that at my mark and in my corner here it's right there and my mark mark is there is that in the center okay let me keep my point there here we go and then we're going to do the other side that is correct and there okay now that it's done so remember you do the top the bottom the side stay plain now we're going to reinforce that so at each corner what you're going to do is fold this here and I call that the duck beat there you see it looks like a duck right so I just reinforce this good and we're going to do that at the four corners and really some of um, people are going to do it without the score I find it a lot easier if you do the score because that's going to guide you so I just go inside of it Make sure it's reinforced good because the more you're going to reinforce it the easier it's going to be to do your your um, purse now that is done so now I should have so decide that it's not so it you didn't score there your duck face there duck be gonna go there and there here and here now you're gonna take your peak and then your peak et voila you get your little purse there so let's finish that I like to reinforce also where I score right here hmm did I score this one or not it it feel um, feel challenge here here we go okay now I can reinforce that this way and then I'm going to push it the other way I just feel where my score is here it is here we go and then the other side the same way then it have to go on the other way but I find it easier right now to uh, feel it put it that way here we go okay now let's push that the other way here we go see now it's going easy so now we're going to add some glue but before I want to add some glue my first video of all that I done with this it was a photo purse keepsake photo keepsake and I'm gonna share with you what I done so all my square I had put a mat there I had put another square I had cut my uh, piece 378 by 378 and I just cut it diagonal then put a piece there put a piece there here 378 by 378 you had the square so then you can do an album so the album when you open it up 
so you would give your purse it would be like this here we go and when they open it up boom now we're not doing a purse so what we got I mean we're doing a purse but not a photo purse so what we're going to do it's put my adhesive over here and then I like to put also my adhesive right here right on the edge so then when I move this up it's secure it I don't have an opening on the side there make sure it's straight and the beauty about the tumble it is that um, if you're not straight the first time you get the chance to move it around so that's the beauty of the tumble now I'm going to put that there going to put that just the triangle here because that's going to get open there so now we're going to do both sides like that so let's do this one here I'm going to put that right there put that on my triangle here right at the edge there I'm going to put that over there and another thing that can help too when you do that it's take your bone folder and just press it down now I'm going to do the other side and put that there and then on the triangle I'm sure you don't see it lovely there but you're going to have the jig of it and I'm going to press this down et voila now make sure this is all good et voila I get a very nice size both sides now the other piece for the closer and this time I'm using the plain pr print it's all from the press pedal and I'm going to put glue on this print here the other one I had reverse it put oops the flower at the top and put the purse in the plane it looked like a burlap that print I absolutely love it so this time I reverse it so the top layer of the designer series paper it is four by four the one below it is four and one eight by four and one eight what is one eight one eight is between the full inch so between the four and a four and a quarter now I got that there I'm going to bring my uh, score I could do it oh you know what let's do that on the going to be easier on our scoreboard because we got our scoreboard so let's do that on this I'm going to score that at one and three quarter and at two. One and three quarter and two. Flip it around and I'm going to do it again. Because we got two layers there, I want to make sure that it scores very lovely. Now, we're going to take, usually I don't measure, but in this case we're going to measure. We're going to measure half inch. And the half inch at each end so F inch here and F inch there are going to be at the three and a half so F and three and a half or F, F inch at each um, side I'm going to use um, hmm. I had a paper I don't know where it go let's see if this is big enough oh here it is I like this size so you can um, get the little old punch or you can always use your piercer tool too and push it through I just like to use the punch and make it easier for me here we go now I'm using come to get come together the ribbon and I had cut a 10 inch ribbon that now I cannot oh here it is but before we pass the ribbon though, let's reinforce our score. Okay, so now we get our four. I don't know what I, I think that was glue there. 
here we go. I like to pass the ribbon in the back here. Coming at the top, go in. Okay, now we're going to do a knot here. And I have a lighter that I use to burn the uh, add it here. Here we go. We're going to burn this. Be careful if you use your finger, you can use something else to just make that flat there. Now we're going to use the other, do the other one, the same thing. And we're almost done because we're done our flower. We just have to glue this and our little purse is done. Those purse would be very lovely like Thanksgiving, at the Thanksgiving table. Uh, I don't know if this is going to go before Halloween. It would be cute with Halloween trinkets for the kids candy it would be great for birthdays for any occasion I don't recommend your finger it's just that's what I like to use but I don't recommend your fingers okay my hand can handle the the eat and so on here we go now what we're going to do it's the shorter part going to be in the back. So you see one uh, place it's shorter. So let's, it doesn't matter which side. It's always one side that looks better than the other. Put that right at the edge there. And then I'm going to come here. It's always one side. doesn't matter how careful you are. It's always one side that seems better than the other. I'm going to put that right in the back here. That's what it's nice about the Tombow, the liquid glue. If you're not right at the center first, see you can remove. And right now I'm challenged, so I'm going to go sideways here. Here we go, that's much better. Here we go. Let's press this down. Okay, now when you close this, you see it's pop open. So this is what's going to keep it close. But we can only put glue on half of it. I like to use glue dots. So I put my finger right in the center there so I know not to go below that. And you can use tear and tape. Um, I mean, snail won't work. Uh, I like to have a little bit of glue dot. It just got enough of raised up a little bit. So that's one of the reasons why I like the glue dots. Uh, whatever you use, uh, you need something that it's strong enough, okay? And you cannot go below the F. Now you're going to take this and where the sticky part going to go down. So you take your uh, lovely little purse. You take your, this part that don't have the glue going to go where the tap, the flap is. Going to put that right there. Lift this up. Now press this down lovely. And then let's close that back. Et voila! That keeps your from falling open. And it's just pop very easy. So now you got it in the blue. And you got it in the, and you see this one, I didn't put as much um, embossing, so it's not as shiny, but this one is very shiny. So it's whatever you can, I just don't, and that won't, see it stop the stickiness. So it, it's just give a little bit of uh, depth in it. That is it for my little one sheet of purse there. And so I will have all the dimension on my blog. I could short up this one here a bit, I think, maybe. I'm going to have all the dimension and the supplies that I use for that on my blog. Above in the eye and below, you get the direct link to come to my blog. And all in the U.S. can shop 24-7. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.